is Manor Kumar from IIT Karakpur and he will talk on the regularity of symbolic and ordinary powers of weighted oriented graphs. Thank you. Uh, first of all, I would like to thank the organizers for providing me this opportunity to present my work. And uh, this is a joint work with my supervisor, Dr. Ramakrishna Nanduri. And the title of the talk is on regularity of symbolic and ordinary powers of weighted oriented graphs. Okay. So let me begin uh, with some definitions and notations which is required for the talk. And then I'll be talking about regularity comparison of symbolic and ordinary powers of weighted oriented graphs. Okay. So here is the definition of symbolic power. So let R be an Ethereum ring then kth symbolic power of an ideal is nothing but take kth ordinary power and extend it to the localization RP and contract it back to the R and take intersection over all the minimal primes of R mod I. Here one can take uh, all associated primes also, but I'll be talking only about uh, symbolic power in terms of minimal primes, okay? And we have seen uh, about the Castellio Mumford regularity in previous talks. So here I'll be talking about uh, regularity of symbolic powers and uh, ordinary powers of uh, some classes of non-square free monomial ideals via age ideals of weighted oriented graphs. So let us see what is weighted oriented graph. So take a simple graph and uh, put orientation on its edges and uh, weights on its vertices. We, you will get the weighted oriented graph. And then we have a age ideal. So what we do, we identify all the vertices as a variables of a polynomial ring. Then we have a age ideal of a weighted oriented graph, which is nothing but ideal generated by monomials xi, xj raised to weight of xj corresponding to age xi to xj. So here we are denoting the ages with the ordered pairs. It means that we have a age from xi to xj. Okay. And here we have one notation that uh, B plus B plus is collection of all the vertices which has weight greater than one. And uh, here's one more important thing that if B plus are things, so I'm talking about those vertices. So like see, this is a graph. Suppose we have a orientation like this. And suppose we have one more orient uh, edge. If I say age is towards this, then I will not take weight greater than one. Weight means here I will not take any weight, like two or anything. So we have to take here one. But if I change the direction here and here, so all the edges going towards the vertices, so here we are allowed to take any weight. You can take even one also. Okay? So that's what. So these vertices are called sink, okay? And all the vertices which is going outside, we call it source, okay? Now, so here we have, uh, if B plus are sinks, then uh, ideal, age ideal has only minimal associated primes. So now onwards, uh, wherever I will say B plus are sinks, you are free to take symbolic power definition either as a minimal prime definition or associated prime definition, right? Okay, there will be some few notations. I'll be talking where it will be required. So, okay, we are ready to talk about regularity of compar uh, regularity comparison of symbolic and ordinary powers of faded oriented graphs. Okay, so this is means conjecture. Uh, it says that for age ideal of any simple graph, regularity of kth symbolic power will be equal to regularity of kth ordinary power. Okay, so the one advantage of this uh, equality is, uh, as uh, Professor Dipankar said that uh, regularity of powers of homogeneous ideal is asymptotic linear function, but uh, in case of regularity of kth symbolic power, it is not true, so it will be like, in case of monomial ideal, regularity of kth symbolic power will be bounded by linear function. Uh, 
but not linear. So if we know this regularity, at least for those class of ideals, we can say that the regularity of kth symbolic power will be asymptotic linear function. Okay. So in 2022, Min, Nam, Fong, Tui, and Wu proved this mean conjecture for k equal to 2 and 3. So still we don't know if for in general for 4, 5, 6. But for particular classes of graphs, uh, many researchers have proved this mean conjectures. In case of simple graph, means there would be no any weights on the graph and the orientation. That will be only square free monomial ideals, which is quadratic. Uh, so if we ask same question, in case of weighted oriented graph that for any age ideal of a weighted oriented graph, regularity of kth symbolic power will be equal to regularity of kth ordinary power or not. So in this direction, uh, in 2021, Mandel and Pradhan proved that if D is a weighted oriented odd cycle, such that V plus R sinks, then uh, regularity of kth symbolic power will be less than equal to regularity of kth ordinary power. And even they have given one sufficient condition that uh, if cardinality of this B plus is equal to one, then this equality will hold. So means uh, we are saying that in uh, uh, ideals associated with such class of graphs uh, for which uh, there will be only one monomial which has degree greater than equal to three, then the equality will hold. Okay, so similar results we have proved that uh, regularity of kth symbolic power will be less than equal to regularity of kth ordinary power for all k greater than equal to 2 if a weighted oriented graph have at least one induced subgraph of this form and here i am saying weight of x is greater than 1 okay so this vertex is neither a source nor a sink vertex. There is a one outward degree and uh, one is inward degree, okay? So such induced subgraph we will have in a, any weighted unit graph for which this inequality will hold. And uh, such a nice uh, uh, corollary we will get from this, which is uh, uh, this inequality will hold in case of any weighted oriented bipartite graph, okay? Now we'll see by one example that, uh, that uh, whether uh, sometimes the inequality will be strict or not. So here is one example. So I'm, mm, I have taken this cohen macaulay weighted oriented tree. Uh, this was characterized by Jimenez, Simis, Villarreal, and others uh, in 2018. So ideal associated with this uh, graph is unmixed ideal. Uh, so here you can see for uh, these type of weights. So if you say to write the ideals, okay. So the ideals associated to this graph will be y1, x1, raise to weight six, y2, raise x2, raise to weight four, y3, x3, raise to weight seven, x1, x2 is to, okay, so we have a weight four, and we have one more age, x2, x3, so for which we have a weight seven. So this, for this ideal, you can see in the slide that equality of regularity of symbolic and ordinary power will not be equal, but if I change the weight of x3 as a three, then the equality of regularity of symbolic power will be equal. So I have not changed the underlying graph and not orientation. Still, uh, we can see this. So totally depending on the weights. So still we are not able to figure out what kind of sufficient condition we have to put on the weights so that we can get the equality. But now we'll talk about those weighted oriented graphs which uh, I mean, which has uh, all the B plus R sinks, because in case of B plus R sinks, symbolic power behaves very nicely. Uh, you will be listening in the next talk by Dr. Mandel about that, how nicely it will behave. So let us see first that uh, what we have seen. 
So take any weighted orientation graph, assuming B plus R sinks, means those vertex which has only in degree will take the weight greater than one. For those vertex, I mean for those graph, we have uh, this inequality, regularity of kth symbolic power will be less than equal to regularity of kth ordinary power for k equal to two and three. As far as for higher power, four, four, five, and six is concerned, so I have taken the complete description of a second and third symbolic power of a uh, age ideal of a simple graph. So it, it, it is not known in case of simple graph even for higher powers. Uh, if we know those things also, what I have used to prove these uh, the, uh, theorems, that degree complex of a monomial ideal, uh, which was used by Takayama to give combinatorial formula for the dimension of local cohomology. So, so far that will not work if we know the description also. Okay, so now we'll talk about whether for k equal to two equality will hold or not. So here is one, like here we have a notations. So here F will be a family of a vertices of a triangle, which will be in the underlying graph. And here NH is nothing but the closed neighborhood of a subgraph of a, of a underlying graph, okay? Or even you can say weighted oriented graph. And which is nothing but the union of uh, all the closed neighborhood of uh, vertex of a subgraph, okay? So here is one sharp upper one for the regularity of small symbolic power, which is K equal to two, which is for some class of graphs, which says that take any weighted unit graph, uh, such that B plus R things and underlying graph G has no triangles, induced triangles, or if triangles are there, then it, triangles are at most at a distance two from every vertex. So for which this inequality will hold. So this is nothing but regularity of ID square is less than or equal to maximum of regularity of second symbolic power, comma, this term. So this, there will be so many terms like this because if we have a triangles more than one, then we can, we have to um, see accordingly. So, okay, so what is this term? So sum of all the weights uh, of the vertices which is belonging to this closed neighborhood of T uh, which is nothing but the vertices of a triangle minus uh, cardinality of a closed neighborhood of uh, vertices of a triangle plus one. And again, we have to take sum of uh, weight of the vertices of a triangle. And that could be for other triangles also same. Okay, so let us see one example. Uh, okay, sorry. Okay, so this is also a cohen macaulay weighted oriented graph, which was characterized by Taya, Lean, uh, More, Reis, and uh, Villarreal. So, ideal associated to this is also a uh, unmixed ideal. And here we can see these are the non-trivial weights, uh, weights, and uh, these are the sinks only, okay? And these are like, we can see, I have taken the one, okay? You can, once I have taken the one, you can take any orientation here. It will not affect the ideals. So for this, we have seen that regularity of ID square is equal to 23, which is exactly equal to this sum. So we, from here, we have got that this is a sharp upper bound. And uh, using Macaulay 2, we have got this regularity of second symbolic power, which is 22. So from here, we have seen that in case of B plus R sink also, equality will not hold. So we have given some condition on the weights for which it will be equal. So all the assumptions are same, like a previous theorem. There is one assumption I have put that uh, whatever the triangles will have, uh, their um, vertices of a closed neighborhood have only one vertex which has a weight greater than one, then this equality will hold. And uh, for a, such a class of graphs, like G has no induced triangles or triangles are at most at a distance two, in this class of graphs, this free graph will fall for which it will be also hold. And gap free graph is nothing but take uh, complement of a graph which has no four induced cycle, okay. Okay, so I want to summarize the talk which is remaining part of the, I mean, uh, some classes of uh, graphs which is remaining. Okay, so here I have talked about uh, V plus R not sync. You can see this is a weight greater than one. 
and it is not a sync vertex. So in this class, one more class is remaining for which I have not, I am not able to show the inequality which is, you can take x, y, x, z. Okay, so, okay, uh, this, okay, so this way. Here you can take any weight, uh, any direction. I am taking random, both you can choose. So just I am taking, if you at attach this one, then for this class of graphs only remaining. Means there will be no uh, class of uh, graphs for which induced uh, graph is like this. Then there will be only triangles which has weight greater than one. What is of the time? So this class of graphs it is remaining. And if we talk about B plus R sync, then we know inequality for k equal to two and three. We don't know for and uh, we have seen the equality of regularity of symbolic power will not be equal in general. Okay, so these are the references. Thank you. Before we break back, for, break for lunch, just a reminder for all those who gave the talk, short talks, you have to give a, you have to prepare an A0 poster. Okay, so we'll be back at two o'clock for the afternoon session.